Hey farmhands, Farm Bereaver, farm welcome back to Hulk Reef. Today we are going to hit on the topic of pH. It seems to be a really big one going around right now and it's one of those things it's like do you chase the number or don't chase the number. You know a lot of people you know like myself I, I try to hit 8.3 to 8.4 on my reef tank so what I've been doing is I installed a Kalkwasser Stir a Deltec and we're going to go and check that out in a minute and what it does so adding lime water or Kalkwasser to my tank will help raise my pH. Cause I'm trying to hit about an 8.3 to 8.4. Um, usually my tank runs around an 8.1, 8.2, but I feel I wanna be able to get a little bit more coral growth out of my corals by just raising the pH. Cause the pH in your tank, it's, it's, it's gotta work with all the uh, photosynthesizing that's going on with your corals throughout the day. So plus when you have a bunch of CO2 in the air, it gets absorbed by your tank and then it drops your pH. So there's a lot of that goes on, especially right now, because I live in Canada, winter's coming in fall. So a lot of the leaves are falling off and what do leaves do? Well, they absorb uh, CO2. So something that was really interesting. So it was my daughter's uh, birthday party last week and we had about probably like 12 people here. So I thought, what hell, I'm gonna watch my graph, my pH and see what happens. Cause usually my tank is running around 8.1 or 8.2. So what I noticed is everybody started showing up the pH of my tank was starting to drop. I hit down like 7.8. I never go that low ever. And it just shows you, I'll show you the little graph right here. You guys can see that big dip. So everybody breathing so much CO2 into the air, your tank is, uh, is gonna absorb it. So it was definitely something to learn. So next time somebody comes over, A, I'm gonna open up the windows and doors if I have that many people over again. Plus, if you have a wood stove in your house, your tank will absorb it. If people smoke in your house, your tank will absorb it. A few things to watch out for, when your house is so closed up, your tank is absorbed so much CO2 and it's gonna drop that pH. So if you can get some fresh air in there, it's definitely gonna help. And the less people that are in your house is actually gonna help as well. So open up some windows. So for myself to regulate how many milliliters of caulk Wasser I dose. I'm using the Dosatronic from Focustronic. I'll show you guys there in a minute. It's a five head doser and I'm using one of the heads to dose fresh water into my Deltec uh, Calc Stir. You can run it off your ATO as well, but some tanks evaporate at a higher rate. So the higher rate you evaporate your tank, the more calc wasser you're, you're going to add to your tank and it's harder to regulate. So that's why I'm using the Dosatronic. So right now, so you put it on your phone, the great thing you know I have a technology is I have it set up, it's dosing 24 uh, doses a day, 833 milliliters. That's what my tank can handle right now to keep my, keep, keep my pH uh, to 8.3 and still keep uh, my alkalinity at 8.5. Cause that's your biggest thing cause I'm running the, cal uh, the calcium reactor at the same time. So you gotta make sure and regulate, keep an eye on that. And this way with the pH, you watch your pH graph throughout the day. So if you have to make any adjustments, you can. And if you want to add an extra dose in there, you can as well. So that's 24 times dosed at 833 milliliters a day. That's what my tank is handling right now. And as the corals grow, I probably, I can update and uh, how many mil, a little bit more to help with the growth rate that's going on in the tank. So the calc washer is a great way if you want to stabilize your pH in your tank. And that's the way I do it. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the hookup, the install, the dose of tronic that I use, but, and I'll just show you some of the corals and some of the coral growth and the coralline algae that's taking off. Um, so it's been a few months since I added the, the coralline algae from Algae Barn. It's definitely a great way to do it. You're, you know, it's pest free, you're adding in your tank. Cause you remember my tank, it started with all just uh, Marco's uh, dead rock in there, but everything's really good. I don't have any hair algae problems, but keeping all my parameters in check. So if you want your corals to grow, stick to the basics. Keep your pH up into the 8.3s, 8.4s. That's my target range. And that's the way I've been doing it, being successful so far with the Calcluster. I'm very happy with it. And I find, I, was run, I mean, I'm running the calcium reactor, but I'm finding I'm getting more growth through the, using the Calcluster, the lime water. And even the, like I said, the Coraline algae is actually taking off a lot better as well. So let's head into the life support system room. Let's go check out uh, the Delca Stir, how I hooked it up. And I'll show you guys the powder. I'll show you the, the Dosatronic as well. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. So this is the Dosatronic from Focustronic. It's a five head. So you guys see, I got all the lines here go nice and neat. It's all about the wire management, making things look good. So mine actually go right into the wall um, below. So whatever I'm dosing, I have a shelf inside my cabinet. If I want to dose anything, all the tubing goes there. I have like just, I pulled up two clear lines just for my uh, calc. So I knew which one it was. Plus it was a little bit easier running it because I had to run it 
through my cabinet up and around and into the sump. So this is right here. So I just have these ones unhooked, but you get five heads and everything controlled right off your app. So I have everything hooked up to pump one for the, the fresh water coming in at 833 milliliters a day. But yeah, so it looks pretty good. And then I got my Elkatronic on the top that uh, looks after my alkalinity and you can test from four, eight or more times a day to keep everything in check. But yeah, this has been a great tool and I like be able to have that functionality and it's very accurate as well. Like you always, you want to make sure and calibrate every pump before you dose anything, but it's been great so far. Everything's been bang on for uh, the mill of day. That so let's move into the life support system room. We'll check out the Deltec uh, Kelquas or Stir. It's a pretty awesome uh, system. I'm, I've got the, the, uh, the skimmer now, the Kelson reactor and the Deltec uh, Kelquaster uh, gear, and I'm definitely loving that product. All right, guys. So here is the Deltec uh, Kelquaster Stir. This is one of the large ones. This one gonna do like 10,000 gallon uh, systems. So right here on the top, there's a built-in little um, electric motor and it spins uh, the paddle that's inside and keeps the Kalkwasser all mixed up. Because Kalkwasser is a lot heavier than the water and it'll just sit on the bottom and it won't do anything. So this is why they call it the stir because it actually stirs up the kelk and keeps it all mixed so it can dose into your tank. Because if you don't, the kelk would just sit on the bottom and you'd just be dosing fresh water and that would be useless. So I have uh, the stir hooked up to the Felix Smart Controller. And what it does, it tells this little pump here to turn on the, uh, I got a, what do I got a 15 times a day and gives it a stir to keep everything uh, not settled on the bottom and keeps it in here. Um, I'll bring you guys in a little closer here, but I have it right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is the fresh water line that's coming from the Dosatronic. And that's the one right here that doses the 833 milliliters a day into the stir. And then you just have, uh, this is your, I guess you could call it your fluid or the, the kelp that's coming out. So I have an extra large tube here, because some, if you don't, they just use like a, a little tube, it can get uh, hardened on the bottom and plug up. So I use the biggest diameter of tubing I could to uh, dose the tank, and it's been working really well. So I'll bring you guys in closer here so you guys can check it out. Um, I've been using uh, the kelp from actually, I don't know, it, it seems like an older box that I got here. Uh, it's actually from Dell Tech. It's Aqua Crown Kalkwasser Powder in this little container and I put about two to three tablespoons of calc in there per week. That's what uh, it's been running good for me so far. I probably, I might try the Brightwell one. What I like about the Brightwell one, the Brightwell actually adds magnesium to their calc. So I'd, I'll show you guys here. I got my calcium reactor. My magnesium has been staying bang on, but it'd be pretty cool to be able to dose uh, magnesium through the calc cluster at the same time. So I'll show you guys this really quickly and I'll show you the calcium reactor. But yeah, so this is how I've been keeping my pH on Hulk Reef to the 8.3, 8.4 and just make sure I've been watching it very close. Just the best thing you can do is learn your tank and how it runs weekly. So when you walk in, you look at your tank, you look at your corals, you can tell if they're happy or they're not happy. And then sometimes maybe you might have to take things back a little bit. So like we can uh, do a little recap here. A, I've tried running off the, this is the Delta skimmer here. It's got two pumps, two intakes. I ran a couple uh, lines outside. A, it didn't really work for me. It went up a bit of 0.5. So A, that didn't work good. I never tried the, the CO2 scrubber way. It probably, it, it works. I've seen lots of people run it, but A, I don't want to be buying uh, the media all the time. It seems very expensive for what it does. This here, the Kelk washer, it's very like inexpensive. You can get a big bag of it. That here came with the with the stir, but the next one, I think I'm gonna try the try the Brightwell maybe. And plus, I have a like a return air duct here, fresh air in here. It definitely it brought it up a bit and did help. But I'm looking for a longevity, something long, something that's gonna just keep working that I don't have to keep, you know, filling reactors. I hate filling reactors, but here all I have to do is literally grab a couple tablespoons. You know, open the, this is just open it up on the top here. You guys see that? See that's that's this the stir you got. I don't know if you guys can see it, but see that's the stir there. It just keeps going around and around. I take a couple tablespoons, dump that in there. It mixes it all by itself. It turns on 15 times a day, uh, mixes it up. So it's a pretty easy system, but it's you just got to keep an eye on it because you don't want to burn out your tank. But I think the way that I have it set up. It's going to be very successful and going through them. I'll keep you guys updated, but uh, I was going to show you guys some of the coral algae growth and some of the coral growing as well and everything's looking really super. 
So come here, check it out up closer, um, and I'll show you the calcium reactor. It's all tuned up, but the way, everything that's been running good, knock on wood, on uh, Hulk Reef, I can't complain. Everything's growing, everything's healthy. I don't have any hair algae problems. Just, yeah, let's just knock on wood. I don't want to jinx myself. So I just want to give you guys a little update on the pH, because uh, I see a lot of people trying a lot of different ways, you know, running an airline to the attic. I'm telling you, run into the attic, you better have uh, a filter on the end of that. You don't want to be sucking up particles of uh, fibers and stuff and getting them put into your tank. That was, that's pretty rough, but this is one of the simpler ways. This, you know, this has been going on for years. A lot of the other, a lot of the old guys, you know, they swear by running the, the Calquasser, and I can see why. So come here, let's check this out, and then uh, we'll go check the tank out a little bit. But uh, I just want to give you my input and I've been running this a few weeks and I didn't want to do a video and just, you know, say, hey, it's working so wonderful. I see a lot of that going on there, a lot of bad advice and people just grab some product, you know, and they're like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing. A, they just got it. B, they've never even ran it on their tank. It's all about, you know, working together and being educated on trying to be all successful. So yeah, it's been running for a few weeks and I've been posting all over social media how it's been running. So. I'm just telling you one thing, if it doesn't work on Hulk Reef, it's not gonna be here. And if it works like crap, I'm gonna let you know. So let's check this out. Let's check out the calcium reactor and then we'll go check out Hulk Reef a little bit. All right, so just to go over everything. So this is the, the little motor on top that I have spinning about 15 times a day. This is coming from my Dosatronic. This is the fresh water. I have a 50 gallon uh, barrel in my basement. It's probably about 100, 100 feet away and it's uh, not a problem to pump that all the way here. Right here, there's actually a little check valve, so nothing can go back through my line back to my barrel. So this here, like I said, it comes from my 50 gallon fresh water. This fresh water is hooked up to my ATO, but actually if my tank evaporates water, it adds it all from the same barrel. So it always has a fresh supply. Um, this big tube, it's about, you know, it's almost 10 inches around. It, like I said, this is your biggest one. It's good for like 10,000 gallons. And then if I can open it up, I'll just pull this right out for you. So this is the stir that's inside. You see it moving around? This is what keeps everything all mixed up. And then there's your step up motor. You get that back in there, but that's it. That's how easy it is. You don't have to worry about filling reactors and all that stuff. I hate filling media reactors. So this is the way of hopefully everything will work out for me and it's gonna be successful. And then this is the, the line that goes right into my tank. And I try to keep it as big a diameter as possible. So you can see it right here. So you see how everything is all mixed up. It has that nice white look to it. That means we're like, we're good to go. And you can see the stir going around and around. So this is my calcium reactor from Deltic 2. Um, this one here is about three feet tall, 10 inches round. I got it full of media and all the small stuff is the magnesium that is dosing my tank as well. That has been a great tool. Um, I love it. So right now I have it down right to like the minimum and it can actually dose because the calcoster is actually, it's almost like competing against each other. It's doing enough right now. And so when my, my tank doesn't blow right up and there's a full reef, there's corals everywhere and the calcoster can't handle anymore, I can actually start to ramp this up. So I'm actually benefiting from both. It works pretty good. So I have this tuned down to like very, very uh, small dosing. And so I want to, you know, keep the magnesium and everything rolling in there as well. because. It's working pretty awesome. Um, so I got my CO2 container over there with the bubble counter, it keeps everything in check. So I can't complain. All right guys, so now we're just checking out Hulk Reef. So you guys can see the rock and how it's turning purple now with the coral and algae growth is on it. We're gonna zoom in here on a few corals very soon and I'm gonna show you some of the growth and the way things are really uh, taking off here in the Hulk. But I'm pretty pleased the overall look of the Hulk. The colors are popping, the rock is looking good, the fish are all healthy. It's nice to see all that activity on the reef. But the Kalkwasser has really been beneficial. The pH has been up there and everything seems to be doing a lot better now since I've raised my pH. So I can't complain. So let's just watch uh, Hulk Reef here for a little bit. Then we'll jump on and we'll, we'll see uh, some of the corals up close and you guys can see the different growth and how it looks.
Now we're here looking at one of the SPS corals. Started this one as a frag. You can see all the new, like the pins, nails, whatever you want to call them, coming off the skeleton. It's just they look nice and purple and vibrant. Lots of great growth on that coral. And then we got some soft corals here, the gonias. They are doing awesome. They have a skeleton underneath them, so they're growing at a nice rate, but they're very healthy. You guys can see the colors, see the rocks, the coralline algae growth that's going on. So it's definitely been very beneficial running the Kalkwaster and keeping my pH up there. So next one, we're gonna jump onto another SPS coral here. Same thing, started as a frag. You guys can see the tips, lots of great uh, new growth on there. It's really coloring up nicely. We got like a nice purple, blue uh, tinge to it. So I can't complain. Definitely looking really good. This is one of my favorite corals here. It reminds me of the Hulk. It's beautiful, very vibrant. It's really uh, taking off, growing, skeletons growing. So we got a very happy coral. So hopefully you like that little uh, tour around there, a little bit of information. So that's how I'm combating uh, the low pH in my reef tank. So it's like anything in this hobby, if you wanna try something new, go ahead and do it, because the only way we're gonna learn. So, you know, I'm learning a lot by running the Kalkwasser, learning a lot of new things that I didn't know, but that's what reefing is all about and uh, helping each other out. So hopefully, you know, if you guys hook up a Kalkwasser, hit me up anytime, I can uh, more than happy to help you. So. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about a little bit about pH and uh, the different uh, ways you can go about, you know, trying to solve that problem, all right? Well, there you go, the Dosatron actually just turned on, if you can probably hear it. So we're dosing a little bit of Kalkwasser there right now. So thanks for tuning this week, guys. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully uh, you guys learned a little bit of something. If there's anything else that you would like to see on Hulk Reef, uh, learn about how, you know, how I combat hair algae or anything like that, because I don't have one stitch of hair algae that in my tank or any algae problems, but so if there's anything you want to ask, hit me up. So uh, make sure uh, you tune in uh, this week as well. Our live stream on Saturday, we are gonna have Reef Bright on here, learning about all their new lighting from uh, the CEO of uh, Tulio from Reef Bright. He's gonna be our special guest. So make sure to tune in on Saturday, nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you guys then. So if you guys could smash that like button, if you could please subscribe, it'd be even better. So please subscribe and hit that like button.